Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome to Strange Town Saturday. As you can hear, I have the game loading in the background here. Let's go check it out. Oh, we're ready to go. I'm going to load up Strange Town. I hope you guys are having a good weekend so far. Uh, hello, lovely Liv. Hello, Volpecula. Hello, Devit. Divit? Sorry. <laughs> hello, Beaky, 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 and Lil, Lil S. Bubby. Lil S. Bubby? <laughs> um, hello on her own. It's so much fun to me to try to figure out what people's screen names actually are. Aw, oh, thank you so much, Beaky Beaky Beaky! 28 month Prime sub, thank you so much, I really appreciate that. Hey, Cottage Peach, and K Danielle, and Spaghetti! Spaghetti! Uh, thank you so much, I gotta hydrate. I don't know why I'm thanking you. Thank you for keeping me hydrated, I'm gonna hydrate myself with some coffee. I've got coffee with heavy cream. Look how much cream I put in it. It's just mostly cream, I think, at this point. Um, let's see. Thank you so much, Feline Insomnia, for the 15 months at Tier 1. Thank you so much, Spara Normali, for the two-month resub. Thank you so much. And thank you, Go Golden Circus Girl, for the five months at Tier 1. Hello to you. Thank you so much, guys. I think I got everybody there. And uh, two hours ago, I want to thank Mr. Krepsley is Love for subbing at Tier 1. Thank you so much if you're watching. I saw your little sub on my uh, activity feed there. And thank you so much, Sunlit Horizon, for the Prime sub. And thank you, Wicked Brony1, for the 27 months at Tier 1. Love your stuff. Thank you. I love your stuff, too. <laughs> thank you. Hey, Dar Darl's Games, uh, just binge watch your Pleasant View reboot. Let's play while I lay in bed with an injured knee. You're lighting up my mood. Oh, I'm so glad. And I'm sorry about your injured knee, though. That sucks. That sucks. I hope you get better soon. <laughs> Twitch doesn't ever notify you when I'm live. That sucks. I do. If You can follow me on Twitter, too. I always tweet before I go live, or most of the time. Last night, I didn't have time, but most of the time, um, like 99% of the time, I always tweet before I go live. So if you follow me on Twitter. Uh, hello, Green Eyed Sims and Rachel. You, there was an earthquake? Oh my god, I didn't hear about that. Wow. An earthquake in Oklahoma? Oh my god. I gotta text Lodane. Oh yeah, I gotta text Lodane. Because she texted me and I just saw her text this morning and I haven't had a chance to text her back. I've been busy this morning. I had to go drop my car off to get the oil changed. I guess that's not that busy, but I mean, it felt like it. It felt like a lot. All right. <laughs> that's okay, Nathan. I did notice you weren't there, but I figured you went to sleep because I know it's really late for you when I stream in the evening. Uh, Lodane's doing great. She was in the stream yesterday. Uh, hello. Hello, second hand. Visiting your grandparents today. I'm doing very well today. Thank you for asking. I'm ready for some strange town. So in today's stream, what we're going to do is move our Sims into the new trailer park, which by the way, I did make the trailer park available for download. I made a custom content free version on my website at pleasantsims.com. It's the first post there right now. Um, you can go download that for yourself if you would like the trailer park for your strange town. And I added the I added the broken down car. Um, I forgot to do that in hours. I'm going to do that today. I did, and I haven't made it an apartment in mine, but I made it an, an apartment in the one I shared. Yeah. So I need to change it to an apartment lot and add the broken down car today. Thank you, Hendrick. No, I didn't download the self-employed mod because I don't need it right now. I do still have it on my to-do list, but it's a low priority because I'm not going to need it for this stream. It's moving day, yes. Hello, FM is Fido Mom. Hello, sunflowers in the sky and mouse wop Yes, I really like the tra I really like how the trailer park um, turned out, and I cannot wait to move our family in there so we can kind of see how it's going to work with having a family living in there. Hello, Zoe. Hello, Pokey Rick. Uh, Kay Danielle, you felt the aftershock in Fayetteville? Oh my god. That's crazy. I did not uh, know anything about this until you guys just now told me. Uh, thank you so much, Sunshine Smiles. Five for the hundred bits. I really appreciate that. Yes, I love the trailer a lot too, so I'm really excited. Oh my god, am I dropping frames? I swear to god, they said they fixed my internet, y'all. <sighs> Shit. 
I had the guy come out here and replace a bunch of cables and said it should be fixed and it looks like I'm dropping frames. Okay, I'm back. Last night's stream went really smooth. Like I didn't drop any frames last night. It, everything went smoothly. So let's hope that was just a, a glitch and it's not going to keep happening again. I guess I'm going to have to call them again if it keeps happening. But the guy did come out and look at everything and replace the cables in my house and outside. So okay, it looks back to normal now. All right. That one could have been Twitch. That one could have been Twitch. Because <laughs> I, I believe, yeah, I believe that it's fixed because last night's stream went really well. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over into the game now. Do, 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 do. Give it just a minute. Show the game, show the game. Hold on, let me just make sure it's selected properly. Uh, the Sims 3 Legacy is, um, it's dead and gone forever, so unfortunately, uh, we're not going to be playing The Sims 3 Legacy, but I started a new Sims 4 Random Legacy, so come watch that. <laughs> okay, so here is our trailer, and I just have to go in and do two little things to our trailer park here. Um, here we go. We're going to enter the lot. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. The Sims 3 Legacy save it was corrupted, and I cannot get it to play no matter what I do. So we're screwed on that. So I had to restart a new. I started a Sims 4 Legacy, but I may do a Sims 3 one. If I do a Sims 3, I want to do a lep leprosy, which sounds very much like leprosy to me. So I don't know if that's the right way to pronounce it. Hold on, I gotta check my phone. This might be about my car. Okay, yes, my car is ready, of course. My car's ready to pick up from the shop as soon as I start streaming. That's okay, they'll hold it until I'm done. All right, so. Um, am I still doing a Life by You video? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Uh, no, I have not tried the Sims 4 Not So Berry Challenge. I've heard of that for a long time, but I don't really know what it is. Yep, I'm dropping frames again, y'all. I don't understand. It's raining outside, too. I wonder if it's related to the rain in my area. Um, they did come and say that they fixed my internet, but it does not appear to be fixed. I'm just checking to make sure I'm not on Wi-Fi. I am not. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, I stream on Friday afternoons, um, but I may be stream. I may be changing that time slot. I don't know. No, I didn't hear that they postponed Life by You to ju till June. I'm trying to wait and see if my frames um, come back because last night it was fine. It wasn't raining yesterday, and last night we had no issues in last night's stream, and now it's it's doing this again. So. Uh, well, while I'm waiting, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put our little car in. Where are you, my old broken down car? It needs the old broken down car. And I uh, forgot to put it. So I'm going to leave. Nope, undo. I'm going to delete this one and we're going to put... The, that was a invisible parking place that will populate a car on it. No, why can I not put it there? I have to put it there? Okay, okay, hold up. Let's delete that. Or is it because I deleted the parking spot? Okay. Yeah, that's why. All right. Undo. So I just need to put a regular parking spot there. Okay, we're going to go with this one. I'm going to put it... Crap! This sucks, because these are not the same size. Um, okay, let's turn move objects on and I'm just gonna put it on top. I'm just gonna put it on top of those and hopefully this works out. If not, I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> uh, let me go back and get my car. Because I wanted to put this one kind of in the middle and then have the other cars will populate on the side. But maybe I should have just put some decorative cars there instead. I don't know how it's going to turn out. We'll find out in a minute. Hello, Parakeet34.
You're 80% sure it's Twitch this time? I hope so. All right, so we've got that done. And now the last thing I need to do is change this into an apartment lot. So I think it's change lot zoning apartment base. Yes, that was it. Yes, I remembered it. All right. <laughs> and okay, I think that's done. I'm just going to take one more look around, but I think um, we are completely done with our trailer park. All right, it looks good to me. So I think we're ready to go. And there was just a little mini tour if you haven't seen it. I am not drinking the Door County coffee right now. I'm just drinking regular Folgers right now. Because Door County's expensive. <laughs> uh, oh, I got a hydrate from Susanna Cat. So let me, I'm going to hydrate with my McDonald's Coke. And coffee. So hydrating. <laughs> Yeah, the trailer park has become so nice. So let's go back out to the neighborhood screen. Yes, I want to save. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Cancel. Can I add? I don't know if it, it will keep, like, the little driveway pieces. I don't know if it'll keep these like this. Uh, but I'm going to try anyway. Because I think that looks nicer when it goes all the way out to the road. Okay, now let's save. Yay, my stream is back. <laughs> yeah, it is It is really clunky with making a residential lot than using a cheat to make it an apartment. It really is. But, you know, I don't mind. I don't mind. It's not that bad. Okay, so we're going out to the neighborhood because, yeah, the apartments do work really well. I have not tried for rent yet, but I'm going to be trying it very soon because I've been working on building the Pleasant Vista apartments in my Sims 4 save and I'm going to need for rent to make that work. Okay, so yeah, the apartment rents here are 568 to 708 because I use a mod that halves the apartment rent because I think in the base game it is way too high. Um, so yeah, I have my mouse is screwing up, man. Usually when that happens, it's because it's got a dog hair caked up in it. <laughs> Let me check my mouse real quick. Give me just a second. Don't get it. I have to get it. I have to get it. Aw, uh, thank you, Arp Deco. Volpecula begged for a gift sub in the last stream if anyone's feeling gifty. Thank you. For rent itself is fine, but it completely breaks the game. Ah. Uh. No, there's not laundry areas in the trailers, no. I don't really play with laundry in The Sims 2. It doesn't come with it. And you can, you, you can, I have some custom content washers and dryers, but I don't ever really use them. I've heard that the apartments are corrupting saves. When are they going to fix that? Maybe I won't get it until that's fixed, because I would hate it if it corrupted my Pleasant View save that we're going to play on stream. So maybe I will wait. I mean, I don't expect, uh, Llama Face says many complain about the world that's shipped with for rent, and honestly, I don't ever expect any of the worlds in The Sims 4 to be worth a shit. They're usually so tiny and crappy. I don't know why they can't give us more worlds like Windenburg. Windenburg was the best world we got. It was so big and had so many lots, I mean, comparatively. Um, and every other world is just teeny tiny, like three, four lots. What are you gonna do with that? That's not enough to even play. Some of the worlds are just unplayable to me. Anyway, I could rant all day about that. <laughs> yes, there is a mod for laundry. That's true, Nathan. I think I might even have that mod, but I still never use it. Oh, there's a new laundry mod. Oh, oh, that's a new one. Okay, I know I used to have one where they would, like, go up to the dryer and do something. <laughs> but if there's a new one, I definitely haven't seen that one. Okay, so I am going to go, right now we're going to go over to our Beaker family. They live way down here. It's Aaron Beaker and Tank Grunt. They live way down here in the Nowhere Motel, which somebody has asked me if I will make the Nowhere Motel lot available for download, and I will do that. I'm going to be working on that one next. Or Newcrest. Yes, Newcrest too, Kay Danielle. That, I forgot about Newcrest and Windenburg. Give us some more of that. And thank you so much, Kay De Silva, for the um, seven-month Prime sub. I don't know why that did not show up on the screen. 
This mod acts like Sims 3 logic. Oh, I gotta check that out, Nathan. I gotta check that out. Uh, Ten, Ten Simoles says, I've had a good experience with For Rent. I built a trailer park and it speeds the drama up so much with the shared space on the rental lot. Oh, that's a good point. And it hasn't broken your game? Is it breaking everybody's game or is it just intermittent or is something causing it? I wonder. Hey, Lunar Nymph. Sorry, y'all. It's taken in a minute to load because I haven't loaded a lot in this uh, since I've opened the game. So it takes it just a minute here. I know. I have. I give myself so many projects to do, but I really enjoy doing them all. Um, I miss the free lot placement of The Sims 2 as well. I really, really dislike that in The Sims 4 we cannot add our own lots to the world. I really dislike that. I like how they did the worlds in The Sims 4 where it's like partially open worlds. I really like that. Um, what I don't like is that I can't add my own lots or expand the worlds in any way, shape, or form, or create my own worlds. I really don't like that. Um, okay. I don't know why that's flashing all over the place. So we're going to the Baker family. Look at this huge-ass family all living in a tiny efficiency motel room. So they definitely do have enough money to rent a trailer, though. So we're going in. <laughs> you think it's broken for people using the mod or cheats that increase rentals? Okay, well, I don't plan to do that. Mostly those that have cheated for extra units and are using mods. See, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that, so maybe I can still use it. Because I don't need more rentals. Um, thank you so much, Mima Bear, for the four-month the Prime sub. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, she said, you say, I downloaded your Sims 2 save file and have been setting up everyone's hobbies and aspirations all morning. Yay! <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? I love doing that. I will still be careful. Don't you worry. I will. Uh, Lady Amy 97 says, for rent messed up my save file I was building in Sims 4, so I've started the long journey for replacing defaults for Sims 2. Yeah. I am, I am nervous about it, Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Bolt Core, for welcoming me back to the Sims community. I am so happy to be back and know the Sims 3 save. I think it's, I think we've lost it, unfortunately. Um, okay. Yeah, if I do get for rent, I will back up, back up, back up, constantly back up. Constantly back up save files. I learned that lesson from the Sims 3 corruption problem we just had. I'm backing up everything. Okay, so here is the Grunt family. This is Tank Grunt, and his partner is Aaron Baker. She's in bed because she is exhausted. Because Tank has been in jail, and he just got home from jail. Okay, for he, he was in jail for three days for assault, and uh, now he's out. He almost lost his job, but he somehow managed to keep it. Thank goodness, because the family doesn't have a ton of money, as you can see. They only have 2,900 simoleons. And they do own a little bit of furniture. Uh, some of the stuff in here belongs to them, so I'm going to pack up everything that actually belongs to them now before we move them out. Uh, thank you so much, Witch Child 757 for the three months at Tier 1, or six months at Tier 1. Thank you so much. So Tank does work at level five in the um, military career, so he makes pretty good money. Erin also has a job, but she hasn't been able to make very much progress because she's been spending her time raising these little girls, um, especially while Tank was in jail. So they have three little girls, Mitchie, Odette, and Ella. And uh, Ella just aged up to a child, so let's have a look at her again. I think she looks pretty much exactly like her dad. She looks very much like a grunt child, I think. Uh, Tank having a criminal record does not really negatively affect him. They even let him stay at his intelligence job in the military. So, um, the only thing that, uh, allowed, the only way it negatively affected him is he missed work and it, he lost a lot of work progress. Look at her cute little green eyes! But he didn't even lose his job, so I guess it didn't affect him that much. Alright, so first thing I'm gonna do here is pack up their stuff. So they also, so they do have two chairs here that they're going to be bringing with them. They have a TV and I need to pack up, um, I'm going to pack up the toddler stuff. Actually, I think we can sell this stuff because I don't think they're going to have any more children. Um, I'm pretty sure, did we put Aaron on birth control? I don't remember. I need to start making a note of when I put Sims on birth control. I don't remember if I did put her on it. I think I did. Um, okay, but so I'm just going to go ahead and sell the baby stuff since we don't need it anymore. And if they need it in the future, again, if she does happen to get pregnant again, we'll just buy some more. And so they also have a cat. Um, that's General Fuzz. General Fuzz the cat. 
We did put her on birth control. Okay, thank you for remembering, y'all. Uh, Wicked Brony One says, "What would you suggest doing if you want to incorporate a jail system into your save?" Um, basically, I just build the jail and I move a townie in to live there as a residential lot and be the jailer, and I make sure they don't have a job, and then I pay them uh, a stipend from the neighborhood treasury, like every so like five hundred a week or something like that. And then anytime somebody goes to jail, I just move them in there and play them. Or I don't move them in there. I teleport them in there with Simblender. That way they don't take any money from the household. And uh, then I play them for however long their sentence is. And then I bring them back to their home. So that's how, how kind of like a short rundown of how I do jail. Oh, there's another toddler toy. Um, it's really fun. So the only other furniture in here that they own. So they own obviously the cat objects are theirs. We'll give them the cat objects. This dresser belongs to them. And then actually the TV, they do not own the TV. The TV is part of the apartment. Or not part of the apartment, but it comes with the apartment when you move in here. And then I do believe this apartment is supposed to have a couch in it. Um, but I sold the couch, so oh well. The next person who moves in here is going to have to have their own couch, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what to say. So everything else they have to leave behind, uh, we will also pack up the uh, Sim Blender here. Perfect. And now I'm going to save. General Fuzz is such a cute name, I know. <laughs> and then we're going to have, uh, what's his face here? Tank, can't think of his name. Go down to the computer. And we're going to move out. So, not find own place, but real estate, no. Oh, never mind. I got to do it from the neighborhood screen. I was thinking they had to, I had to do it from the computer. And then I'm like, wait a minute. That's only if I need to move one sim out. Okay. So, I'm going to save. How do you deal with the phone waking them up when it's just one room? It's annoying as hell. Uh, okay, let's go out to the neighborhood and move them out. Jeez, I don't know what I was thinking. I think it's Sims 3, I guess. Grunt, say goodbye to the liminal space. <laughs> yes. All right, now we're going to move them out. Oops, hold on. Let's not move to move or rotate. Where, what am I trying to do? Oh, here we go. Move family. The Beaker family. And move them out. Okay. And you know what? They may have taken all that furniture with them because I don't think I have like the stay things shrub on that lot. So they may have taken all that furniture. Oh, well, if they did, that's fine. Uh, we're going to move them into the trailer park. That's just a bonus. Yes, they're moving into the redneck mobile homes. Yes, they are. <laughs> okay, let's move them in. And we kind of set up this trailer over here on the right side with them in mind. So it has three bedrooms and two baths. So the twins, I think I'm going to have them share a bedroom. And then little Ella will get her own bedroom. And then, of course, Tank and Erin will have a bedroom together. Redneck got censored. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much, Tension, for the Prime sub. Thank you. Okay, here we are moving in. Okay, so take a look around at your new home, children. At least the kids have somewhere, you know, like reasonably safe to play. They have this little play area now. Um, so this, I think, is the trailer right here that we're going to move them into. So it's six seventy six per week, which is, they have 5,000 simoleons now. So that's not bad. We can do that. And I'm going to I'm going to do the um, furnished one because I want to make sure everything that we put in there is still there. So let's have Aaron go over and sign the lease. Rent will be due every Monday. Uh, hello, Genesis Lamb. Is Genesis Lamb moving in here? I think she is. She got herself a trailer. Good for her. All right, we signed the lease. So I guess we are free to move in. And yeah, it looks like Genesis Lamb, the maid, also lives, the, ta the str uh, strange town maid also lives in the trailer park over here. I'm going to have to kick her out, though, because Tina's moving into that trailer. Sorry, Genesis. You're not going to get to live there long. <laughs> They're on the Hillbilly Highway. <laughs> I love it. Okay, 
Yeah, th- I think that was the same creepy landlord, though. Jordan, I think that was the same guy. <laughs> All right. Uh, Aaron Beaker, she is a playable sim in Strange Town. She is part of the singles family when you first start playing. So here is their house now. Obviously, it's not furnished. So I'm going to go in and get out some of their furniture. They do not need those fold-out chairs anymore. And I think they're going to get annoying. Let's put down the pet food over here in the kitchen. I'm just going to put this stuff down and we'll, we can rearrange it later. Okay, I don't have any space for the litter box in the actual bathroom. So where, I guess, I don't want to put the litter box in the kitchen, you know? That seems a little gross. Where should we put it? Oh, no. I didn't think about pets when I was designing these trailers. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm just going to put it here in the living room for right now. We'll figure it out in a minute. And then this dresser can be for one of the girls. We've got the Sim Blender here. And we'll rearrange a little bit in a minute. I do, I'm going to take these chairs out and I'm going to sell them. Since they, I think they have enough money now to like furnish the house. And let's see. Is that everything? Yep. Okay, that is everything. So let's go in and see what we can buy. So first of all, the most important thing we need are beds. So let's start with beds. Your parents have the litter box at the edge of the kitchen. Ooh, I do not like that. I mean, I used to have mine in my laundry room right off of my kitchen. And it wasn't that bad if you use really good litter and clean it frequently. Um, do I have the updated towny apartment residents that also allow NPCs and downtownies? Yes, I do. Uh, that's why Genesis moved in. So, I don't know why I click counters. We need to go to beds. Beds, I said. And I'm just going to get the kids some of these little cheap beds. I don't remember what everybody's favorite color is. We need to set everybody's favorite colors. Um, let's see. So, for the twins, it looks like green, per green and turquoise and green. I don't know. Turquoise and greenish. I'm going to put them in this room because I think it's slightly bigger. Uh, thank you so much, Kerensky, for the two months at Tier 1. I really appreciate that. Teach the cat to use the turlet. That's right. That's what my boyfriend did when he had a cat. He taught the cat to use the turlet. Okay, no, no. Undo. Undo. I need to color that bed. Color that bed! Uh, I want my light color. I think I'll do the white. I think I'll do the white frame. And then let me just find some cute little kid bedding here. I have a lot of bedding. Um, that's kind of like a turquoise. That's not really going to match the room, though. Oh, that's cute. That's a cute little bed. Okay, that's going to be one. Was that little owls on it? Little birdies? Aww. Okay, and then we'll do another white bed. And... Sorry, I'm just looking through this real quick to find- No, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. I don't want to give them the same bedding, you know? I want to give each of them a different bedding so they can- They're twins, but I want them to have their own, like, individual personalities. So this one I want to give, like, something kind of greenish. Aw, that's cute. Hold on. I like sometimes I like to do it like this and I'll just pay the extra $15 because I can see the bedding so much better like this. Okay, actually I like that one better. Okay, there we go. So there are the girls' beds, and then I'm gonna put a little nightstand in between. They don't have a ton of room, but hey, this is way better than where they were living when they didn't even have their own beds and they all had to live in a single room. So this is, you know, it's not a lot, but it is an upgrade for this family for sure. And then we'll put a little lamp in there. All right, now let's do something else. Let's do... What kind of lamp do I want? Ah, uh, yeah, that's fine, I guess. The other one that I already chose and then changed my mind on. That's the one I want. And um, I'm not going to worry too much about... I'm going to put a dresser over here. 
I'm going to give everybody a dresser and beds and then, and you know what? They don't even need a lamp actually. They don't even need a lamp. They have a light in this room. So I'm just going to put a little nightstand and then we're going to do a dresser for them, for them to share. Have I seen the mod that shows 10 swatches instead of five when you do that? Um, I don't think so. Uh, thank you so much, Kayla2102, for the 14 months at Tier 1. I appreciate that so much. Um, I want to do a little... I wish I had, like, a one-tile one of those. That would be cool. Um, and I'm going to turn move objects off just so I make sure I'm placing everything correctly. I think I'm just going to have to do something like this. Like a cheap Ikea uh, dresser for them to share right there. There's not even any room for any toys in their room, but... That's okay. Or maybe I should put the dresser here in between the beds and then we can put a little toy down here. Let's give them a dollhouse. There we go. That'll work for them. Uh, thank you so much, Emma, uh, for the three months, three month prime sub. Thank you so much. Hey, Olivia Pleasant. Oh, I'm glad you like the new legacy founder from yesterday. I think she's gonna be really fun to play. All right, now um, I'm just giving everybody the absolute basics right now. So let's go do uh, Ella's room. So Ella already has a little dresser here. Let's give her a bed. Let's see, somewhere in here. Yep, there we go. They went to Ikea for furniture, yes. They don't have a lot of money. As you can see, that already took like 1,500 simoleons. So we have to kind of be careful. What color did Ella like? I don't remember. Ella, where are you? Oh my god, I cannot find you. There you are. Um, oh, she likes yellow and green. Okay, yellow and green. I'm going to try to keep that in mind when I choose her bedding. So I'm going to put the little bed in. Uh, go in there. Go in. And then I'm going to go in and change the bedding. I don't mind paying the extra 15 simoleons so that I can actually see the bedding. Because these little swatches are so hard to see. Okay, she likes yellow and green. I want to find something that I think would suit her. It doesn't really match the walls, but that's okay. That's what happens when you move into a trailer. Oh, that's cute. Little giraffes. I like the little giraffes so far. Um, yeah, let's do the giraffes. Yes. That's got, that's got, that's got green and some yellow on it. Close enough. Close enough. I hope it's not my end that's making it laggy, you guys. I really do because, like I said, I had them come out. And last night my stream went great. Dang it. It's definitely Twitch. I hope it's Twitch and not me. Um, okay, so there's her dresser and her bed, and then also let's get her a toy. So I'm going to turn the dresser that way so we can put a little toy right here. Or maybe I'll turn the bed. Maybe I'll turn the bed this way like that. I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's put a little toy box here. Um, kid stuff. I can't remember where anything is. And what's like the cheapest toy box? This one? 55? Oh, this one's also 55. So I'll just get her a little, a little green, little green toy box. There we go. So dresser, toy box, and she also needs a curtain. Because I feel like the kids' room should definitely have curtains in them. Uh, thank you so much, Clown Moody, M Clown Moody, for the tier one, or for converting your prime sub to a tier one sub. There we go. <laughs> for, and thank you so much for the nine months prime sub. I'm so glad you're here. All right, now let's go in and, you know, we don't even have to do curtains. We can just do blinds as long as it like covers up the window. I'm okay with that. And the blinds are cheap. So we're going to go with blinds. I'm trying to find something that kind of matches a little bit. That looks, that looks so ugly. I think I'm just going to go with white. I think I'm just going to go with white on this one. Okay. Because we don't want any creepy trailer park people peeking into our child's room. You know what I mean? And let's put one in the other girl's room as well. Um, the upper kitchen cabinets, if that's what you're talking about. I got those on Mod The Sims. 
Um, they're called, I think, just Maxis Match Upper Cabinets or something like that. Thank you so much, Kieran, for the, uh, for the four-month Prime sub. I really appreciate that. I hope it's Twitch in the rain. I am really starting to think it might be directly related to the rain. Um, because it seems like when it's not raining, my streams are going fine. I need to, I think I'm going to call back the cable company and tell them that. And tell them they need to get somebody out here to do something. Okay, and also let's put a blind, let's put some blinds in the bathroom. We definitely don't want whoever's working on that old broken down car out there peeking into our bathroom here while we're trying to take a shower. Um, and I don't, and let's put blinds also in the parents' bedroom. So everything else though, like the kitchen and living room, that can stay with no blinds for now. All right, then let's give a bed to Tank and Aaron. So I'm just going to give them obviously the cheapest bed. And then, I don't know what colors they like. Gray and greenish. Um, let's find some interesting bedding to give them. That's kind of, that's kind of nice. That's kind of all right. We'll give them that right there. And then I'll give them each a little nightstand. Or at least one nightstand. I don't want to do too much. Oops, that's not what I was trying to do. Ooh, you had your nails done and you're having your hair done this week. Awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little nightstand there for now. And then we need to give them a dresser as well. For their clothing. So I'm going to give them the stand-up one. Right there, like the war stand up one, the wardrobe, I guess. And I think I'm gonna move the nightstand over to that side. I like that better. Okay, so that's all they are getting. And then I wanna move the sim blender over into this corner. I haven't quite decided uh, what I'm gonna do with the cat stuff yet. Wasn't there a mod for Sims 4 that adds those creepy peekers to the game? I thought that came with a pack, came with a for rent pack. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Yeah, get the cable company people to join the stream so they can see for themselves. Exactly. Uh, Alright, so the next thing I'm going to add is a table. And a kitchen table for them. So I'm just going to add the absolute cheapest little table here. And let's add a couple chairs for them. Um, the cheap, we're going to add super cheap chairs as well. Three chairs for the entire family. That's what they get right now. Okay, some people are not going to be able, they're not going to all be able to eat at the same time. They also need a trash can. Do a trash can right here. And I think I'll just keep the cat's food right there. I think that'll be fine. And then for the living room, we still have plenty of money left. Well, not plenty, but we still have some money left. So let's go ahead and give them a couch. Um, I don't even know what what kind of couch to give them. We'll give them that couch. I'll leave the little cat t thing right there. I will put a... No, I don't like that next to the couch. It looks too big to me. I like this one's better, I think. Okay, I'm going to give them a little, little table right there. And then a TV as well. Okay. Actually, I think I'm going to move the TV like in front of the window. Or right. no, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to turn quarter tile placement on. And actually, I think I want to give them I think I want to give them a larger couch because they are a pretty big family. Let's go ahead and give them a three tile couch here. And I'll just give it to them in a nice green pattern. Okay. Nope. Go. Go back. Go back. All right. And then we'll put the TV right there. Um, I guess they don't need this little table after all. Or we could use the table and we could move the cat thingy over here. Put the table here. Uh, move the cat toy over there. Make sure they can get to the phone. Yeah, some of them can eat on the couch. Yes. <laughs> And so they have the TV and also I'm going to try to give them a bookshelf because I know Aaron is going to need to study 
uh, for her job. So let's see if we can get them a little cheap bookshelf. There, there we go. And there's the sim blender, the litter boxes over there. And I guess that's pretty much gonna do it. Like they don't have a lot of money for decor and stuff right now. I think I'm just gonna give them these, these very basic living necessities for the moment. All right. They don't really need any decor right now, I think. Perfect. So now it should not be Monday. Oh my God, what time was it when, he, when we left? Did anybody notice? Crap, I didn't make a note of it. Did anybody know what day and time and season it was? <laughs> when we left, oh geez. You put the litter box outside? I could put it outside, I guess. Uh, no, we don't have any babies. We only have children now. They might eat on the toilet. <laughs> uh, I have no idea. I bet maybe Nathan knows. Did anybody notice? I'm going to wait because I know my stream is screwing up. So I'm going to wait and see if anybody can tell me. Because now it's definitely not Monday at 825. And it's definitely not spring. I, I always forget right before we move somebody, we need to take note down. Or I need to note down uh, when exactly the time and the season and the day and all that is when we move them out. So we can keep everybody in sync. Yay! Hello, Carrie Unicorn! <laughs> I'm waiting because I feel like you guys might be behind. I feel like the stream might be lagging. Yeah. I think it is. Oh, man. I don't know what to do. I'm going to call my cable company back tomorrow or Monday. Tell them it's still doing the same thing. Maybe I need a m new modem or something. Oh yeah, we do need an ACR adjuster, but I'll have to wait till somebody comes inside. Thursday, uh, day is Thursday and season is summer. Okay, thank you, Nathan. You guys are definitely behind me, but <laughs> I see that. Day, okay, let's go to day setter. Okay, and it should be Thursday. And what time should it be? I know it was nighttime. It was after 6. Oh, 9 p.m. Thank you, Nathan. Oh, then I should... Okay, I'm going to change the day back to Wednesday and make it 9 p.m. Okay. Uh, well, everybody's awake. We'll just leave it at 8.25 a.m. That's fine. We didn't lose that much time. Um, and then the season and weather controller, we will set it to summer. So, first summer... Our last day of spring. Oh, okay. Last day of spring. All right. I don't need to set. Yeah, I do need to set that. Four days left in spring. There needs to be one day left in spring. Okay. Perfect. All right. Nathan to the rescue. Thank you so much, Nathan. So now let's check in on everybody. I think the kids are supposed to be at school. Um, maybe I can have them walk to school now since they, ha they had to move this morning. Okay. They had to move, but they're all going to go walk to school, walk to school and walk to school. This is Ella's first day of school. Uh, oh, I got a save game. Yes. Thank you so much. Green eyed Sim. I'm going to save the game now. <laughs> Nathan is so good. He remembers every, he has a great memory. Oh, and there's a hydrate for you, Olivia Pleasant. I'll hydrate for you again. All right. So the girls are going to walk to school. Let's see. Is Tank supposed to be at work right now? Yes. Or no, he's off today. So that's fine. He's off today. We can work on his skills and stuff maybe. Um, and then Erin, she uh, goes to work at 10. So she does need to work on her logic. I should have put a chess table in the common area. Now that I think about it, I should have put a chess table out here. Uh, but that's all right. So let's have her go on into the house. 
And then Tank as well, He since he's off today. Go use that Thurlet. I'm sorry it's lagging, y'all. I know you're so behind, I know. I'm so sorry. Oh, that sucks. How long have I been streaming? 45 minutes? Oh, great. Mm. Let me type really quick. Did, I still hear the kids out there. Did they not go to school? Um, I'm just typing in the chat. So sorry, guys. Not sure what else I can do. Hopefully it comes back. Thank you, it's Dreamer Cat, for telling me Thursday summer. Yes, I got that. <laughs> I know you guys are so far behind me because of the lag. I'm so sorry. I d I've tried everything. I've had the internet people come out here. And this has never happened until we started getting all this rain. And I really think something is going wrong on the outside of my building. I really do. I wonder if I switched it to Wi-Fi. Hold on, let me try something. Let me try something. Let me switch it to Wi-Fi. Just give me one second and let me see if that changes anything. I get like half the speed that I would being hardwired in when I'm on Wi-Fi, but maybe it's a problem um, that being on Wi-Fi could fix. I changed it to Wi-Fi, so let me let me give it a minute. I left it at uh, Thursday morning. Okay, it looks like being on Wi-Fi is not helping. It's not helping. Oh my god. All right. Well, that did not work. Oh, then it's the first day of summer. I will fix it to the first day of summer. And then we'll be ready to move on. Um, are they walking to school? They're supposed to be walking to school. Hold on, let me make sure they're walking to school. I think they stopped. For some reason, they did not walk to school. Where are you, child? Oh, you're over here playing on the carousel? Walk to school! And that creepy landlord was trying to talk to her again. I am, I'm gonna type, I am so sorry. About the buffering. Don't know if it's me or Twitch. Um, okay, are the kids going to school? And who's moving in? Oh, Aaron Beaker's going to work. Dallas and Hurt. Hey, leave my kids alone. What are you doing? They're supposed to be walking to school. Don't have a water balloon fight. Go to school, children. Well, I'm sorry if it's unwatchable. Like, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. 